Hi, I'm James Roman, and I will be discussing the customer service portion of Walt Disney World and the WaltDisneyWorld.com services provided. Uh, as we discussed earlier um, in our project, uh, we're looking at information technology, technology with your Walt Disney experience. Customer service is a crucial part of the way Disney provides their service model uh, to their customer base. Um, their, their customer base is, is the entire country, and they use their media apparatus to draw in and build lifetime uh, members uh, who utilize their services and their products. Uh, they have several different platforms in which they provide that and through several different media outlets. So we're going to take a look at it. First of all, Disney.com is the overriding website for which everything is connected to. And uh, what the uh, services offered through Disney.com are entertainment purposes, trip planning, and then other services while you're actually at a Disney resort. So first of all, with the media. We all know Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Um, so the, uh, the brand is very important to Disney. So when you go on Disney.com, you have, the, of course, the classic Disney movies. Uh, if you're like my daughter, uh, she likes the Disney princesses. Um, you can see when the movies are coming out and, and what's going on with that. Uh, when the DVDs are being released. Uh, this year, uh, in the next couple of weeks, there's the 60th anniversary of Cinderella. And uh, the Disney website has all kind of information about the release. At which point, then, they coordinate it. You go from your release of the Disney.com movie to then all kind of uh, storybooks following Cinderella and then products you can buy whether it's a six Cinderella dress, Cinderella wedding dress, matching shoes, matching scarf, hat and gloves, Cinderella coat. They coordinate all activities. So you go from the Disney buying the DVD to actually going online and, and buying all the different accessory pieces. Then we move on to another facet of the Disney.com website is their TV services. Uh, Disney employs three different, has three different channels with the Disney.com logo. Uh, you have the Disney Channel, you have uh, Disney Junior for the five-year-old set, uh, and then you have Disney XD for teenagers. Each has a special viewing audience, and you can go onto Disney.com to view your schedule or see clips of the shows or, vo or view full episodes of these television shows. Another facet of the Disney Media Empire is Disney Radio, the music. Um, Disney has taken, gotten out and actually created a music brand. It has created their own music stars, such as Hannah Montana, uh, Demi Lovato, the Jonas Brothers, uh, Austin and Allie. These music stars then start on the Disney Radio, which you can get on Sirius Satellite Radio or through Disney.com. Another facet of that is the Disney apps, Disney games for the computer. And uh, they have Where's Perry, which is an application that you can take with you to the Disney park and look for, basically look for Perry at different, um, in different areas of the Disney park system. So Disney.com serves as that entertainment hub. It then serves as a hub for their stores. Uh, they have physical stores, that uh, Disney stores, but most of their is e-commerce through Disney.com and you can buy all sorts of different products that starts for four or five year olds or actually starts with infants and moves all the way up to you know a very expensive handbags and purses for women, uh, leather jackets for men, and uh, Christmas ornaments for your tree. Um, my daughter recently just got an Alice in Wonderland teapot because she enjoys Alice in Wonderland. Uh, so everything that's a, um, that you could ever want for Disney, is, you can buy at the Disney.com platform for the Disney Store. So finally, we're going to move into uh, two different other uh, areas. One of them would be you're planning your Disney vacation. You can do your whole vacation on the Disney.com website. You can book your travel. You can book your uh, where you'd like to stay in the Disney Park service. You can book your transportation. You can book your tickets, whether you want a park hopper, which means you can go to several different parks in a day, or just stay at one park. And then there's your Disney meal plan. And everything will be put, when you get to Walt Disney World, on a card. And each, each guest will get their card. That will include your tickets for the parks, and built-in parameters around that. It serves as your hotel key.
it serves as your meal plan, and it serves when you go into any store, you can just hand them your card, and you can shop to your heart's delight. At the end of the time, then it will charge your credit card. So basically, you pick that, you go online, you, you pick your days, you pick your resort, and then you put together your trip, your way. And finally, when you come to Disney, you have a lot of information technology services that will help you have a fun and enjoyable trip. The first thing, you'll see a video on this, is FastPass. Several years ago, Disney came up with the idea of avoiding long lines by giving their customers a chance to put their card and ticket into the, into the park into a computerized program where it will print tickets for you to come back at a certain time and bypass the long line. Having been there this summer, uh, my wife utilized this quite frequently, so I thought I didn't have to wait in long lines. Um, most of the most popular rides have a fast pass, and you can come back then and ride the ride without waiting in a horrendously long line. Another service provided is uh, the Disney app, Parks app. What you would do is download it on your mobile device. At that point, you can see basically park hours. You can see what different events are going on at the park that day and plan accordingly, whether it's through the Disney um, the uh, parades or where the characters are. Uh, my daughter really enjoyed the Disney princesses and so we would have to find out where they are and how long they're going to be there for. Uh, why? Why would you do all this? One is to enhance your experience at Disney. To make sure that you're seeing all you can. Most people, this is the trip of their lifetime and they want to make sure they get everything involved. So Disney is using this, using these resources so you're not spending your time running around wasting time and having a more enjoyable visit. And finally, while you're running around the park and seeing the uh, different characters, they have the Disney Photo Pass, where you're given a card, and at that point, you hand it to a photographer, and all the photographers are all over the park, and they'll snap your photos, put them on a website, and then at the end of the day, you can purchase all your pictures. So you don't even have to bring a camera. All this enhances your visit. It makes it more convenient and more efficient and you feel like you're getting more for your money when you go to Disney. So that information technology with their Disney brand makes a more enjoyable experience. And quite frankly, we're entering the fifth generation of Americans who have been who are fans of Walt Disney. So obviously they're doing something right. Thank you very much.